exponential decay can be found in a variety of real world phenomena. When r is less than zero, then the function describes an exponential decay. And most of the word problems related to exponential decay can be solved by applying the following general formulas. Now, these two are very similar. Um, you'll always have on the left side uh, your future value. And on the right side, uh, the first value will be the initial or the original value. R is your rate. It can also be known as K. R or K is the same thing. And that's going to be a negative rate. And T is your time. Polonium-210 has a half-life of approximately 138.6 days. If four grams of the substance is present initially, then the amount A of T in grams of polonium-210 still present after T days is given by the following equation. Find the amount of polonium-210 still present after 50 days, round to the nearest tenth of a gram. So here we're given the formula. We're asked to find out how much will still be present after 50 days. 50 days is our time. So we're going to remove the T and replace it with a 50. When we do so, it's going to look like so. We can enter it the way it is like this, if you like, or you can multiply the exponents together, get that value, then type in 4, and then E raised to the negative 0 0.25. And your calculator will give you a value of approximately 3.1 grams that will be remaining after 50 years.